Hello everyone, in this lecture we will see how we can use string interpolation plus how we can output row HTML and in the end we will see how you can use JS expressions in data binding. So first of all, let's start with string interpolation. Let's say I have name which is John and write in our D with the ID of app which is targeted by view instance I am just outputting it like this and we have John now I want to output my name is and then we will get name from our view instance so it will be my name is John so how can I do that actually that's pretty simple just like this string whatever you want to type plus value from our view instance which will be name here so here I will type not I my name is and then our name so it will output my name is John let's go for age age will be 30 let's say so we will output my age is and then plus and age run okay my name is John and my age is 30 so here is string interpolation in Vue.js next up how we can output row HTML so let's go our problem first let's say I have data HTML and in here I have bold text I am bold like this and I want to output this and I want to output it here so I will use like this data HTML which will not work because this mustache syntax treats this as a plain text so whatever you write in this data HTML will be treated as plain text it could be HTML JS or something else it will be always plain text so how can I use it as HTML for that we have to use v HTML and value for this will be data HTML which is here I am bold in B tag and after this we have to remove this mustache syntax because we are already outputting it using V HTML so now if I run this we get I am bold now let's go over data data EM And this will give us I am stylist so in this way you can output row HTML using V HTML now last thing from this lecture is how we can use JS expressions in data binding for this we will use age like this and here I will output age very simple 30 now let's say I want to change my age not in our view instance but right here in our HTML for that we can use JavaScript in this mustache syntax just like this and we will get 35 so this was simple you can also try other examples let me show you that In this example, I am using this is valid which have value true and in our HTML I am using condition. Now let's see what will be output. Successful because of this condition and if I change it to false, it will be failed. 
another example okay so we get john in reverse by using name dot split dot reverse dot join now let's say i have id this is the id of my post So this is simple data binding using vbind but here I use shortcut. So let's run it and if we inspect this we can see span id equals 25 which comes from here id 25. Now let's say instead of 25 I want to output post dash then how can I do that? For this, you can use dash. Now let's side our console and in here you can see I made some changes. So in our double quotation, I created string with single quotation which have post dash and I am joining that id with this string. Now let's run it same result but in our but in here as you can see we get id as post 25 so this is how you can use javascript expression in data binding but you can only use javascript expression in data binding you cannot use statements like assigning a value so this is it for this lecture and i will see you in the next one